Welcome back, Terry McIntyre. Is anybody got a hanky? Is your nose still blocked? Mm-hmm. It's a right heavy mucus I've got on me. We have a look in my bag. A cold can be a bugger of a thing to shift. That's over a fortnight that I've not been right. It started last week with a dose of the shits, now I'm all fluey. Do you think you'll be all right for the photos tomorrow? I'll just take my Sudafed and go on with it. There's no way I'm missing being in that staff calendar. Anyway, my mum promised she would send one to her sisters in Canada. I can't find one. Just use this. Hell of a rough in your nose. And I've got this wedding on Saturday. The final fitting for my dress is this afternoon. I just feel as if it's all piling up on top of me, so I do. Oh, just go home and run yourself a nice bath. I can. I've got the terrapins in it. Terry, that's 50 minutes you've done. Right. Shove another token in. The sticker says maximum 20. Arlene, if I'm going to be in the front cover of a calendar, we've got to take my turn to a new level. Will Greg not be wondering why you're not in the office? Well, this is technically work. Does he want me looking like a big husky? Nobody's going to want that up on their wall, are they? The Eskimos would. Shut up. Where's that kind of Fanta? I'm dehydrated. Tap. Oh, my arms are a bit dry, too. Oh, do you want some more cream? Yeah, but would you get me a sachet of the Bondi body butter? Right. That's me away. Get into this town and get this dress sorted. Who's it that's doing them again? Little Woods Brides. What colour are the bridesmaids? Peach. Well, peach with a grey trim. But she's making us buy her own shoes. What? I know. I'm just going to wear my jelly bean sandals. They're the only white shoes I've got. Well, apart from my Reeboks. My mum says she wishes she'd worn trainers to her wedding. Did you say it was your cousin that's getting married? I well, it's not a real cousin, though. It's my old next-door neighbour's nephew's daughter that used to go out with my brother. But we stayed pals. Right. So is it OK with you if I nip away early? I'd, um, like to get my hair done. Ah, oh, right, whatever, no bother. You right, Greg, that's me away. Jesus, what kind of a holiday camp am I running here? Where are you off to? I'm going to get my bridesmaid's dress fitted. You're getting a fit of rock out of your arse while you're at it. I said to you about it and you said it was OK. Did I? Oh, all right, then. Moira, well, remind me it's still being so reasonable. So my appointment's half four. What? For my hair. What's going on around here? It's like the night before the bloody Oscars. I think it's important everyone tries to look the best. It's important everyone does a day's work, Moira. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that. Well, there's a bit of competition about who's going to get on the front cover of the calendar. Oh, for Christ's sake. The guy's going to choose whoever he wants. I don't see what all the fuss is about. I know, I know, I know. Is it going to go for half four? Tell you what, why don't you just take the whole afternoon? That seems to be the done thing. Did you get a driving lesson tonight? Um, not sure. About the test. The sooner you get through that, the sooner you can start driving us home from the pub. I'll save us a fortune in taxes. Mr. Brown said I need another batch of 20 licences. What? How much is that going to cost? £240. Oh, what a crap. Right, let's see. Buff it a wee bit more. He says I'm on him for wearing his clutch down as well. What kind of a chance, sir, is this guy? Arlene, phone him up and tell him to forget it. No. Arlene, phone him. No. Why not? I don't want to. Why? Because I've not learned my signs. Don't be so stupid. Do you want me to do it? No. Right, dial the number, hold the phone to my ear. What's his name? Hector Brown. Right, what is this? Hello, is that Hector Brown? Yes, this is Arlene Hunter here. Uh, regarding my batch of lessons, I'd like to cancel them. Eh, uh, uh, listen, Hector Brown. Oh, is that right, is it? Oh, well, I'll tell you what you can do, Hector. You can shove that clutch up your money-grabbing ass. Okie doke, bye. Hang up. Hang up. Why did you not hang up when I told you? I didn't want him to know I was here. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Sean Graham. Greg Miller, how you doing? Take a seat. Right, so, this calendar. Yeah, well, what I was thinking about this one, Greg, was just to get you all in a variety of, of relaxed poses, you know? Uh, I'm thinking naturalistic. Uh, you know, behind the scenes, warts and all type of thing. I mean, how do you feel about that? <laughs> well, plenty of warts around here. <laughs> just don't take too long, because they've been skiving enough this week. No, no, I work quite fast. It's a, it's a bish-bosh kind of thing. Now, I thought a group shot would be quite nice for December. 
Ah, uh, well, that's another thing, because there's a couple of girls off this week with a bug. Oh, right, sorry to hear that. Yeah, something to do with diarrhoea, apparently. OK, well, I mean, I could just nip back and do that on Monday. You know? For now, we could just get the individual shots of the, of the girls at the desks, you know. I mean, I, I think the message you're trying to get over here, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that this place is a, is a hive of activity. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nerve centre, constantly handling information. Yeah? And the people here are really on the ball, yeah? Uh-huh. So is it trick photography? Stay there a little bit, that's nice, OK? Lovely, OK. Let's have a bit more teeth. Nice, lovely. Lovely, thank you, thanks a lot. Look at this. I think she'll have the brow from the baby oil out. He did mine in the stockroom. That's where she should have hers done. Shoving that box and tape it shut. Teresa. Terry. You ready for me now? Yep, let's go. Uh, now, I know you won't know the answer to this, but um, am I on the front cover? Oh, I don't know. We'll just have to see how the shots turn out. All right. If I can just pop you up on the table there. OK. OK? Mm -hmm. Thank you. OK, now, what I want for this is a shot of you on the phone. Right. Like okay. it. OK, now, what I want you thinking is busy office, mm -hmm. OK, buzz in the air, real urgency. Like a fire or something. Well, not exactly. No, maybe more a kind of work crisis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, head office on the phone. Yeah. Okay. How would you act if head office were phoning up looking for you? Just go through to the toilet and let the voicemail get it. Yeah. It's it's a kind of a focus that I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? You in the middle of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you're in control, busy, but you're in control. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So let's just run it through. Okay. So the phone rings. Yeah. And you're waiting for an important call, and this is it. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. Hello? Okay, okay, we can work on that. <laughs> uh, now, what we could do with doing really is getting someone to just walk through the background over there just to make it look a bit busy, so. Um, excuse me? You talking to me? Have you got a minute? Sorry, I can't hear a thing. I've got a right heavy mucus on me and it's affecting my ears. I'm just wondering if you could grab a coffee mug or something. A what? I'm saying I want you to grab a mug and walk through the back of the shop for me. Right, there's no need to shout at me. Can I actually just confirm with you, Sean, that this is a solo close-up shot of me? Yeah, 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 it's just a bit of background action. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, you just, you just take your time. Okay. I'll give you a visual cue to walk, OK? Right, I'm listening. I'll hold my hand up or something. Right, OK. OK. So, Terry? No, see this mug? Is it tea, coffee or soup that I'm supposed to have in it? It doesn't matter, whatever you normally have. But I don't take hot drinks. Tea. Cold tea. Cold tea. Tea. Right, OK. Ready when you are, Terry? OK, so remember, I want focus, control, urgency, in your own time. Terry? Uh-huh? What are you doing? I was just waiting for it to ring. <laughs> oh, didn't catch me sneezing there, did you? That was quite a heavy growth in your inner thigh, Marnie. Normally, I'd just shave it, but I thought I'd treat myself. How are you getting on your driving lessons? Not so good, Mommy. Terry said I'm wasting my time with Mr. Brown. How many lessons have you had? Only 80. Is that not costing you a fortune? Sarah gave me the hundredth one free. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. What you're needing, Arlene, is one of the intensive courses. Doesn't that take longer? No, no, no. It's quicker. I've got this young niece who went to this guy, and what he does is he takes you out for six hours at a time, just driving round and round the town, very relaxed. None of that reversing in corners or any of that nonsense. He believes it's all about hours behind the wheel. I mean, she was straight through her test, aren't And is she a confident driver now, Molly? Well, she's banned at the minute for the booze, but she is a super driver. Hmm. Is it not expensive? No, no, very reasonable. We worked it out that it's thanks to the money we saved with him that we're able to pay her fine straight off. So it just shows you. Loads of my clients are asking me when they can get their calendar. Did I tell you my mum's sending them to all my aunties in Canada? Are your family Canadian? No, they're from East Bride, but they moved there just after I was born. They're smashing calendars for marking up birthdays and hospital appointments. I mean, once I've dished them out to all my clients, that's when you really start getting a profile. I had a really nice one with puppies with speech bubbles coming out their mouths. <laughs> they're absolutely hilarious. Is that the wee golden retrievers? I had a wee pup like that. It was a lovely, friendly wee thing, but it grew too big, so I had to get it put down. 
Right, you lot, show's over. Let's get some proper work done here. Hey, uh, Greg, when can we get a look at the calendars? I've got people waiting on them. Uh, well, we still need to get this group shot done first, so I suppose we might get that done on Monday if Libby and Debbie are back. Well, if they've got what I've got, then I don't think that'll be very likely. It's diarrhea. They've got no leprosy. I thought you'd know what to look at them. Just lift your T-shirt up and I'll do your tummy button. What you want to do, Arlene, is supplement your income. No, no, I just need some extra money. Remember my young nephew, Jim? The one who got his thingy? Aye, that's the one. Well, he was saving for a trip to Amsterdam. He'd enough for his plane fare, but no enough for his hash when he got there. So he got a part-time number on the side doing night security in Woolies. Oh, did he earn much? No, the basic was terrible. But he made quite a bit on the side flogging toasters around the pubs. The point is, Arlene, it shows you the works out there if you want it. I don't fancy security work. Well, is it the shifts? No. I don't like Alsatians. Hi, sir. Mm. Can I give you a hand with that? No, no, you're fine. So, did you enjoy getting your photos done? Oh, yes, I did, Sean, yeah, yeah. So have you made any decisions about the front cover as yet? No. Right, no. I'll just leave that up to you. I don't want to be mm. pushy. No, but... See what I was going to say? If you are ever needing anybody to give you a hand with anything at all, I mean, just give me a ring. Right. So, uh, any big shoots in the pipeline? No, not really. Well, I'm doing a, an advert at the weekend, but that's it, you know. Brilliant, right. Yeah. You do adverts as well. That's it, though, isn't it, working? It's not as glamorous as everyone thinks, is it? No. So, uh, see about this front cover. Look, Terry, I don't know. You know, I'll need to see the shots. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. <coughs> so what are you two doing tonight? We're hitting the shops. I fancy one of those Burberry handbags. I quite like the Burberry stuff. But sometimes my eyes get fuzzy with the checks. I might go into Debenhams and see if I can get something to go with that brown skirt. What are you thinking? Down tights. What are you up to tonight, Barry? I don't know. I might just stay in. I took chops out the freezer that I need and used. That's it, but isn't it? You take something out in the morning and then you feel obliged to cook it, even if you've lost an ocean. No, I'm still in the mood for them. I just haven't decided whether to take cheesecake or Arctic rollout for afters. Oh, Terry! Barry was just saying he wasn't sure about a pudding, and here you waddle over. What about that wee tart perched in the desk, Barry? Looks a wee bit sour, though. Hi, Arlene. Hey, yeah. How did the photos go? Fantastic. Don't get me wrong. It was demanding. He really had a vision. But let's just say, you see by the look in his face at the end, I can tell he'd never seen anything like me. Do you think I put you on the cover, Terry? Well, he says officially he needs to look at the shots first. But... He stopped me on the way out of the office and he was dropping a lot of hints. I think Kelly was saying she got a good feeling from him. I bet she did. Anyway, let's be patient, wait and see, let Sean decide. Anyway, what's been going on with you? Marnie was in the salon today. All oh, right. Big Marnie. Big Marnie that likes her sarnie. What time did she waddle in? She was saying I should do an intensive driving course. She should do an intensive diet. What does she know about driving? The only thing she drives is big pork pies down her throat. She does have a tendency to balloon. She said her young niece went on a giant six-hour lesson and passed her test. Are they not expensive to go on, though, Arlene? That's what I said, but she said no. Listen, you have wasted enough money on this driving. Look at the hassle with Hector Brown that I had to sort out. And now you want involved in a giant driving lesson. I need more lessons to pass my test. And that's what they tell you. They're at it. How can I keep practicing? I'll take you out. Will you? Do you not need to be a qualified instructor? The girl in the flat above me got her cousin to take her out in his debut. She said it done her more harm than good. I am qualified. I've got a license. I've got a car. I have driven on the other side of the road. Was that the night we were at the barbecue? No. It was when I got a moped in Lanzarote. Anyway, I'll have no problem. I'll get you through your test quicker than the Hector Browns of this world. Right. Now, just take it gently. And remember, this is a fuel-injected engine, so it's a bit nippier than Mr. Brown's Micra. OK? Ah! Hang on. What have you forgotten? Did I leave the iron? No. Driving. 
What is the first thing you see me do when I get into a car? Put the radio on. No. Mirror. Check to see you've got it at the right position. Shit. Yeah. And just put it back where it was. I've got it where I like it. Just remember that as a note. Now, start the engine, please. Don't rev a cold engine. Give it time to heat up. Okay. Now, where were you up to with Hector? Nearly onto the bypass. What about all your manoeuvres and things? I've done a hill start. Good. And how did you go on with that? It was easy going down, but I kept stalling on the way back up. Okay. Now, what about emergency stops? We've done a few outside odd bins, but not many. Right. That's what we'll do. As soon as I give you the signal, that's when we stop. Okay. This is the start of the lesson. I am the instructor. You treat me with respect. No cheekiness, no swearing, and you do not do anything without my express instruction, OK? Good. What are you doing? I'm waiting for you to tell me to stop. Oh, for God's sake! Am I going to have to sit here and tell you everything? A good driver uses an initiative. Now, shoulder check, and when it's clear, move off! Handbrake. Handbrake. Oh, who's this? I'm busy. Hello? Oh, hi, Sean. Hey! Doing? No, not you, Sean, no. No, I, I'm just in at the doctor. Yeah, no, there's a bug going about, so I'm just making an appointment just in case, yeah. No. Neutral. Put it in neutral. What's that? I, I'm just saying to the doctor about um, getting neutered, yeah. Uh, just a minute, doctor, till I think about it. This is a work call. Uh, right. Well, listen, that would not be a problem at all for me, Sean. Yeah. Twenty minutes max, yeah? No, 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 I can come round, yeah. Right, will do. Okie doke. See you in a bit. All right, bye, Sean, bye. Right, get this car turned round. Will you help me feed the wheel? So, Terry, thanks for coming down at such your notice. No, 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 that's no problem, Sean. Sorry I'm a wee bit late. Uh, this is Arlene, she's my assistant. <laughs> Hiya. Is that your black car out the front? Yeah, the Honda. Yeah, yeah, it's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is yours. So, Sean, is this about the front cover? Uh, no, no. It, um, it's, it's about the advert I was telling you about. But you did say you'd be interested in helping out if anything came up. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all, yeah. yeah. I think you're perfect for this. You know, it's, it's an overall summer theme, you know, holidays. And... Like sun and beaches and booze and... Yeah, yeah. I had a girl booked to come in, but she's got this bug, so... That's how big breaks happen, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, right, no, this will just be a shot of you, OK? Right. Solo shot. Like it, Sean. I was just saying that to Arlene, wasn't I? I said to her, I said, I like Sean's style. Didn't I say that to you? Yeah. So it's really straightforward, OK? Just a variety of poses, different expressions, yeah? Uh, we'll just wing it. It'll be fine. Right. All right. Now, I've set up a colour roll here. All right. right. It's a wee bit beer. Yeah. Well, we put all the backgrounds in on computer. Oh. So if you could just nip in there, right. and I'll get you to just, just start going through the motions. Okay. Right, OK. Now, just before we do, Sean, could I maybe just get a couple of minutes in the loose just to sort of make up and things? Oh, no, you're fine. You look great the way you are. I do. Yeah, yeah, I don't want anything too glamorous. <laughs> OK, so what I'd like to do is try you with some sitting down, OK? Right. So if I can just pop you up there, that's you. OK. Lovely. Right. OK, now I'll just try a few test shots. Mm -hmm. OK. OK, so give me thoughtful. Yeah. Perfect, lovely. Just hold that there. That's great. Let's just try a mixture of um, confusion and worry, OK? OK. Yeah, that's great. That's lovely. OK, all that there. That's great. OK, now remember, you're on your holidays. Right. Uh, you've, you've, you've maybe lost your bum bag, your passport. Oh. OK, and, you're, and you're, you're trying to explain it to the rep. OK? Yeah, that's great. That's lovely, OK? All that there. That's lovely, OK? One more like that. Lovely, that's great. Maybe come forward a little bit. Yeah? OK, maybe put your uh, elbows on your knees. Right. That's it. Bring it forward. OK. Oh, I just want a little bit more real anguish. Right. OK? That's lovely. Show me how you're feeling, yeah? That's great. Use your face. That's lovely. That's lovely. Hold that. That's fantastic. Keep that there. 
You've got lovely eyes, Terry. You've got really expressive eyes. Now, let's, let's make those eyes work for us, OK? Yeah. OK, that's it. Let me see pain in the eyes. That's lovely. OK, if I can just... Just that's it. Just kind of move that around. That's it. There. Hold it there. Hold it. No, no. There. Hold it. OK. Perfect. That's it. That's great. Hold that there. That's lovely. OK, now you've got lovely legs, Terry. OK, so let, let's maybe, maybe we can see the legs. The leg shot, that's lovely. That's it. Go on, a little bit more, go on, a little bit more. See, that's the one, that's lovely. OK, OK, that's great, that's great, lovely. That's fantastic, OK, let's just pop up for this one here. Just hold up there, that's the one, that's the one. Last one. OK, thank you, that's it. That's it. Did you get everything you wanted? Oh, yeah, yeah, there should be loads to choose from there. Yeah. I'll just watch them and then I'll uh, send them over to the agency and there should be quite a quick turnaround. Right. OK. <laughs> um, just let me ask you something, Sean. What actually is the situation with the front cover of this calendar? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, I haven't had a chance to sort that out yet. Yeah. I'll have a look at them this afternoon after I've got this out of the way. OK. Right. Because, I mean... I have been delighted to be able to do this favour for you, Sean. Hmm. Not that I want to be seen to be influencing your decision in any way. No, of course not. Sure. Hmm. Now, let's talk money. Right. How much? Now, the agency hasn't got a big budget for this, OK? So maybe if we said uh, 200 cash. Right. Yeah, uh, well, just uh, let me consult with Arlene, see if that covers outgoing costs and expenditure and um, stuff. Arlene. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. So shall we say uh, 95 for the mirror? Okay. And there's your 100. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, thanks very much. <laughs> you just. Right. Okay. John. Thanks. Okay. Right, you. Give me those keys. Am I not driving? No, you are not. You are going on one of Marnie's intensive courses. I'll give her a ring. She's not busy having a second lunch. Marissa. Oh, hello, Moina. How did you get on at your wedding? It's magnificent. That champagne makes you so giggly. And there was roast beef that got carved in front of you. And there was a super pavlova. Mm, see anything meringue? I love it. Hell of a sticky in your back teeth. Oh. And then, of course, you had your speeches. Really funny. But folk were getting dead emotional. And then a band came on, done the likes of your new diamond and your shack of can and everything. <sighs> I almost feel like I was there with you, Marissa. You can't beat a good wedding. You can just get up to dancing. Nobody's hassling you. Aye, they were good. They did a brilliant live and let die. Was she a nice bride? Well, that was the thing. We were sat in that church for 45 minutes. The priest was going mental because the one in the morning hadn't turned up. She went into labour on the way to the church. For goodness sake. Mm hmm Our watchers broke in the Bentley. So did your one turn up? Aye. She made it. She'd been stuck in the house with a heavy dose of the ships. God love her. On her big day. She said it was a nightmare. She couldn't take the dress off to go to the loo because of the pleats in her hair. So she had to get two of her aunties to hold it over her head while she sat it out. I hope it's not this bug. Otherwise, she might have to postpone the honeymoon. Well, she did end up managing to get it settled down. She sent a wee page boy round to the chemist. He came back with these monoids. They're these new ones that are stronger. So, that was her. Solid for the whole day. That'd have been a relief. I just wished I had a pack of them last week to stop me running to the loo. Hiya, Terry. Nice weekend? Yeah, good, thanks. What did you get up to? 25, 30 pints? Uh, was working at the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Sean called me in for a modelling engagement. Modelling what? Clay? Uh, it was an advert, actually. Bullshit. Uh, Kelly, Sean and me have a working relationship, so I think even you can figure out who's likely to be in the front cover of the calendar. I'll keep you in mind if I need an assistant, though. Moira, step in for a minute, would you please? Yes, Greg. Uh, are Libby and Debbie back? Yes, um, Debbie's in the loo. Oh, you're joking. Oh, it's okay. It's only a number one. I can go and fish her out. Right. Um, phone Sean on his mobile. Tell him we can do this group shot this morning and get out the road. Sure. 
What, today? Yeah, today it's a, it's a group shot for December or something. I don't know, all the staff together, blah, 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 something like that. I don't know. Anyway, just phone them and tell them already. Uh, but I, um, well, I mean, some of the girls might need to get the hair done or... Moira, can we just get on with it, please? That's fantastic news about the shoot. This calendar could become a collector's item if your modelling takes off. Oh, he's really taking me under his wing. The lightning is rotten, what happened? Uh, well, two of the uh, big strip lights are away. I wonder if you can maybe just go outside. Right, everybody outside. Come on. Come on outside. Let's go. Come on, quick as you like, please. Outside. Right, easy. I've got a tea here. Sorry. Sorry. Take her right here and follow the road round and uh, then we'll go back up through the town. Again? We've been round loads. It's dead busy. Ah, you're fine. Just watch you don't swerve into those wheelie bins this time. Watch your speed. Okay, now everybody spread out. That's it, that's nice. Now hold that there. That's lovely now. Big smile! Oh. Oh, Terry, you were right. That advert's perfect for you. I need to go to the loo. There's more from the lovely Ms. Terry McIntyre next Monday at 9.30. Next tonight, though, EastEnders. Sean says he might be able to use me for some shoots that he's got coming up. <laughs> <laughs>